as Garcia prepares to face WBC light welterweight champion Devin Haney on April 20th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, he's already looking beyond this highly anticipated bout, outlining a hit list of dream matchups that could cement his legacy as a true crossover star. Ryan Garcia vs. Teofimo Lopez First up, Garcia is targeting a showdown with WBO light welterweight champion Teofimo Lopez should he conquer Haney in the lightweight division. However, the unbeaten Farcia seems to think Teo's excessive self-valuation could ultimately derail this fight from ever happening. I would love to fight Teofimo Lopez. He likes to outbid himself and say he's more than he is, and I'm not trying to demean him. I'm just looking at the business aspect of it. He kind of prices himself out every time. That's why he doesn't get a big fight. There's no denying Teofimo's impressive wins over stars like Vasily Lomachenko and Josh Taylor have him believing he's boxing's next pay-per-view king. However, his increasingly excessive PPV split demands and overall lack of activity during his athletic prime have become serious impediments. Garcia seems to think it may simply be smarter to cut his losses by pursuing the frequently outpriced Teofimo rather than banging his head against the wall for a year before coming up empty-handed on making this intriguing matchup. At just 24 and 25 years old respectively, both Garcia and Lopez are amongst the sport's brightest young talents with clear crossover appeal. A fight between them has blockbuster potential. Teo must continue pricing himself out before negotiations can even begin. The chances of this fight happening soon? Not great unless Lopez comes back down to earth soon. However, never say never in boxing. Fortunes and leverage can shift rapidly. Ryan Garcia vs. Gervonta Davis Probably the biggest and most lucrative potential fight on Garcia's radar after Devin Haney? A long-awaited grudge rematch against Gervonta Tank Davis. The two former sparring partners have had rising tensions since their initial meeting as amateur prospects over a decade ago. Both sides have routinely accused the other of avoiding the fight during their shared journeys to young superstardom. With Davis campaigning one division south at super lightweight and Garcia aiming for the 135-pound belts, getting the pair to an equitable financial split and proper weight would be the biggest challenge for promoters. However, boxing insiders know the bad blood is very real between these two uber-talented yet equally brash and ambitious rivals. There's no denying they represent two of the brightest young black American stars taking over boxing's marquee weight classes right now. Few fights currently sizzle with more intrigue or cultural crossover appeal than Garcia vs. Davis. It has the potential to be a modern-day Leonard vs. Hearns war wrapped in a compelling grudge match narrative. In other words, an absolute must-see collision for boxing fans worldwide. What is the likelihood of this fight happening? Fairly high if Garcia emerges victorious over Haney, given the enormous stakes and demand that will only continue growing with each passing win for both men. But the clock is ticking on their respective primes aligning perfectly. Ryan Garcia vs. Manny Pacquiao Of all the grand fights on Ryan Garcia's hit list, perhaps none is more fanciful yet intriguing than the prospect of facing boxing's only eight-division world champion, Manny Pacquiao. The dream fight is Manny Pacquiao. Where could that happen? In Saudi Arabia. So that's my dream fight, and I'm prophesying that's going to happen. There were talks that it still could happen. I think our fight, Garcia versus Pacquiao, is better than Pacquiao versus Conor Ben. On the surface, this dream matchup seems incredibly unlikely at first glance. Pacquiao will be 45 years old by the time Garcia potentially gets through Haney and clears out other targets like Teofimo and Tank Davis over the next year or two. The Filipino legend is also steadfastly retired from boxing after mounting injuries and falling short in his last two outings against Jordanis Ugas and Errol Spence Jr. His focus is now on pursuing a political career back home as a presidential candidate. However, Garcia brings up an interesting hypothetical scenario involving the deep-pocketed Saudi money men who have been heavily involved in marquee boxing events and exhibitions over the past few years. If they can put up an ungodly one-fight payday for Pacquiao, could they potentially lure him back for one final generational clash? 
From a legacy and fistic Marvel standpoint, a showdown between the legendary Southpaw icon and the prime, unbeaten dynamite fists of the young King Ri undeniably sizzles with fascinating intrigue. It would give Pacquiao a chance to add one more incredible chapter to his storybook career by attempting to conquer the blazing prime of one of this era's hottest rising talents. Meanwhile, Garcia gets an opportunity very few ever have, defeating an all-time boxing legend to instantly enshrine his legendary status. Is it realistic? Probably not. At least not for Pacquiao's first fight back after a lengthy hiatus, but Garcia is keeping the flame lit just in case. In the world of mega-money boxing spectacles and exhibitions, crazier things have certainly happened before. The likelihood? No better than 20%, unless the Saudi bag is large enough for Pacquiao to risk coming out of retirement against such a dangerous threat in his mid-40s. Ryan Garcia vs. Sean O'Malley Lastly, we get to Garcia's most outlandish stated fight target, a two-sport crossover bout against UFC superstar Sean Sugar O'Malley. While it's hardly the first time boxers and MMA fighters have entertained this fantasy matchup scenario, it would still represent an absolute breakthrough first for either sport. If I can't get Teofimo Lopez, I'd like to fight Sean O'Malley in the MMA. A boxing versus MMA crossover fight would be unprecedented in the modern era. The only real comparison would be the Mayweather vs. McGregor spectacle, which still featured two combat athletes exclusively competing in one domain boxing. For Garcia, a skilled but still relatively inexperienced young boxer, to step foot inside the octagon against an elite mixed martial artist like O'Malley would be tantamount to suicide for his combat sports career. The betting odds would likely make Garcia at least a plus thousand underdog. This begs the question, is the YouTube boxing standout just floating this hypothetical out there for attention and clicks? Or does he envision a real competitive matchup taking place under boxer versus MMA fighter rules sometime soon? If it's the former, it's not surprising. Both O'Malley and Garcia are savvy self-promoters who understand manufacturing a buzzworthy crossover fight scenario, however improbable, can drive immense engagement and hype around their respective personal brands. If it's the latter scenario, though, Garcia would immediately have to be viewed as somewhat delusional when it comes to understanding the massive discrepancy between his boxing-only skill set and the fully integrated stand-up grappling make of elite MMA fighters. It's like George Foreman coming out of retirement at 60 years old and talking about fighting 90s-era Mike Tyson in his prime, an obvious cosmic mismatch that would be irresponsible for any commission to sanction. What is the likelihood of this fight happening? Zero! As Garcia sets his sights on this ambitious list of targets, he remains focused on the task at hand, his upcoming showdown with Devin Haney. The young boxer has emphasized that he's in the best mental and physical shape of his career, having been in constant training since his last fight in December 2022. This is the best place I've been in mentally and the best shape. Contrary to what people say, I've been training actually since January 1st. I never stopped training since my fight with Duarte. I believe that was on December 2nd. Ryan Garcia's ambitious hit list is a reflection of his unwavering confidence and desire to conquer the combat sports world. From the elusive Teofimo Lopez to the legendary Manny Pacquiao, and even a potential crossover bout with UFC star Sean O'Malley, Garcia's sights are set on making history and transcending the boundaries of traditional boxing. While the path ahead is undoubtedly challenging, Garcia's determination and relentless pursuit of greatness have already made him a captivating figure in the world of boxing. As he prepares to face Devin Haney on April 20th, the world eagerly awaits to see if Garcia can rise to the occasion and lay the foundation for his ambitious plans to come to fruition.